What's up, everybody? Calvin Bowie of Epcan Delicious. They also call me Captain Charisma. I'm here with my boy. Sunnyside. We're in a Red Lobster filming. We are in a Red Lobster filming. Is it okay to be that boisterous? <laughs> I think, you know what? The, the restaurant is during its lunch break right now. Mm. There's only one other table over there that's just hanging out. Mm. But we're here at Red Lobster. We're, do, we're doing the shrimp trio. We got margaritas in here, and we got a, we got a Q&A coming up. Mm. Now, this is the first time you've been on my show. Yes. How do you feel? Yeah, so Calvin started a show, and he said, be on my show. And I said, do 50 episodes first, and then I will. And he did it. <laughs> he did it. And, and I did it. And, Good and job. Thank you very much. We got a Q&A. We got all of our fans asking A3 questions. We got 42 minutes to go through A3 questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. First question. Clevia Marquez asks, will any of you... Will any of you visit visiting countries in Europe? Also, Russia. I feel like country hasn't been explored much on a culinary level, and we'd love to see y'all, y'all, in Where is Russia. This person from? I don't know. <laughs> we love to see y'all experience it. Will will be go? Will will you be going to Europe and or Russia? So we were scheduled to go to Russia before the pandemic. We had scheduled four different episodes. We were working with a production company there. And then the pandemic came and we had to cancel everything. So we were going to go to Russia. Mm. <clears throat> Did not work out after all. Um, yeah, of course, I'd love to go to Europe. I'd love to go anywhere. It's just going to be about who has the most freedom. And like France right now, ain't it? I'm ain't not, it? I'm not about going, uh, showing a little vac vaccine card, card <laughs> and wearing 15 masks. Like uh, We need places that will allow us to be a little bit more flexible. And I just don't want to do interviews wearing a mask either. So sure. um, eventually, as, as things calm down around the world, then yes, we will. Okay. And maybe or maybe not, I will go to Europe and or Russia. Uh, mm. that, that's a really big trip for me. I mean, to live on the road, filming, that's... It was like you going to the Philippines. You know, like, you're really going all in on on the, sh on the show. Yeah. What were, you, what were your numbers at? before the Philippines? Um, so the Philippines was kind of <clears throat> this key ingredient to the success of the channel. <clears throat> like a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, can you edit that out? Mm -mm. Okay, great. <laughs> I know that already. Um, a lot of YouTubers and vloggers go to the Philippines because, uh, and then they'll just make videos like, Philippines uh, people here are so nice. And then they get a lot of views. But I was generally interested in the food there <clears throat> and Filipino people, I mean, a lot speak English. They're they're very proud of their cuisine, their country. Yep. They're nationalistic, and so the uh, the audiences there were amazing for those episodes. And um, our, yeah, our numbers went up a lot. I went to a Jolly Bee. We did a video about Jolly Bee, Jolly Bee, and um, it just sh it shot us up. Great. Uh, you just killed two minutes of end endless time here. Here we go. <laughs> Eb so, Pastor? E yeah, Eben Miller <laughs> asks, so, so, happy, so happy for you guys to come to Minnesota. My family are, are huge fans. How long will you guys plan on staying here in the state? And will there be a meet and greet? Wishing you guys the very best and safe. We will be here until the beginning of September. And will there be a meet and greet? Oh. Um, I'll do a meet and greet if you want to. You don't? Yeah, if we do it together. Yeah. I don't want to do it alone because like I need someone to be a human shield <laughs> if there's a crazy person there, but I'll do it if you do it. I'll do, I'm, do, I'm down. Um, we're going to put something together downtown Minnesota, maybe at uh, a bar. Mm -hmm. We'll do a happy hour together and be fun. Okay. Boss Lady Cindy G, ever think about doing a show together? We do do a show together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, are, we yeah. already do. Uh, Sahil Samuel underscore says, amazing three hearts. Thank you very much. Tony Caldwell, zero one says two hearts thank you very much <laughs> i'm going fast addy love pdx for both has there ever been a point where you wanted to give up what was it what was it was it that kept you going for sunny do you like watermelon honeydew or cantaloupe how do you not like cucumbers those things I mentioned taste the same, except cucumber is not sweet. You go mm, first. Okay, watermelon, rind. Yes, it tastes like cucumber, and it's gross, but I don't eat the green part of a watermelon. And, and then, yes, I wanted to give up a lot, except for what I did that was smart, is I burned the boats, I moved to Vietnam, I didn't give myself another choice or an escape plan, and I just kept going until it worked. Okay. Uh, has a point you want to give up? I want to give up. I, do, I have wanted to give up, but I always push myself forward. Yeah, because like I don't morning, want, for example. Yeah. Mm. I didn't want to be homeless. I, I don't, I don't, you gotta, you gotta keep doing things in life. YOLO. 
Faye Nani asks, what do you really think of Minnesota Calvin? And have you had a Juicy Lucy yet? I re recommend the Nook. We didn't go to the Nook. Mm -mm. I really like Minnesota. I think that the people are very nice, uh, extremely nice compared to California. Mm. And uh, there's a lot of nature. There's a lot of fresh air. And uh, we had a Juicy Lucy on our first episode. Mm -hmm. Next question, Siddharth Jad Have. First off, first of all, both of you guys are great. Thank you. Mm. Keep doing what... <laughs> Keep doing the good work of making you hungry for delicious foods and letting our palates grow to all kinds of food from around the world. You should learn what a comma is. <laughs> Sunny, with a U-N instead of an O-N, would like, Sunny would like to know what was the best and worst food you ever had both on and off camera. Mm. Was it the stingray liver? Yeah, stingray liver is the worst food I've ever had. Um, and then off camera? No, that's just the worst food. <laughs> Off camera, I eat food I like. Like this? Like that, okay. Uh, Foodly YYC, are you guys coming to Canada soon? I have two DUIs, I can't go to Canada. Is that? Yeah, it's considered a felony. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it was 14 years ago and it's considered a felony on my record. So you'll never be able to go there again? I hear that I can apply for a visa through an agency, but I gotta go through some hoops. I hear Yeah, it. hoops to get into Canada, that's worth it. They have, they have poutine. They have cheese curds. We have curds in Wisconsin. We have that here. Yeah, I don't know. No, I hate to Canada, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Who's going through hoops to get to Canada? People are. Planet of the Universe asks, would you both ever do an episode together of an all-day hiking like the Amazon jungle? That would be awesome. No. No. I don't know. Sounds expensive. It, 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 no, it sounds like we can't control the environment. Imagine trying to get shot to try and like how much how dark it is oh, in the jungle. Documenting that would be brutal. Oh. Next question. Jordan French, 1991. Sunny versus Calvin, battle of the best chef. Who wins? Calvin. Se Second one. Thank you. Oh, I'm not a chef. Everyone yes. thinks I'm a chef or and that I went to culinary school. I'm not either. But you mm. but but you do love food and you do love what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not a chef. Second question. Can I be the judge's competition? No. Because there's no competition. <laughs> yeah. Next question. How often does a bandana get washed by the Irish food dude? I, I'm not Irish at all. Is that what I mean? No, that, that's his name. That's his handle. The Irish food dude. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how often is he washing my headband? Never. <laughs> how often does the headband get washed? Oh. Once a week? That's good. Yeah, that's good. Do I spell it? Later. That, that'd be weird, right? Okay. We don't have to. Uh, next question. Life of BD. When are we doing a trio collab? I'm ready to fly out to Texas when you when y'all are going to go. I'll answer that one. Send your scissors reel to marketing at BEFRS.com and he will see whether or not uh, you can be on the show. People ask me, can I be on the show with you guys? And I'm oh, like, it's not my show. Yeah, it's it's not. not my show to say yes or no. Right. Next question. Travel for food six. How can I push my channel to the next level? I'm just about to get monetized and want to co-tiniest my journey to make it this a full-time living. Oh, I, I have something to say. Good. Okay. <clears throat> if you are going to make this your full-time job, you better have a SHIT load of money sitting in your, in, in your bank because you're not going to make any money. Uh, ad revenues at this early stage? Well, at, at the beginning. At, at least, the beginning. At least you need some kind of like a plan where you slowly move over to YouTube. You can't just do it before you have enough income to support yourself. Correct. And, and you're not even getting monetized yet. That means your channel is still at a very infant stage. Yeah. And the monies that you would need to survive will not be there from YouTube. Anything else? Mm, agree. <clears throat> just focus on quality and focus on pivoting and, and having some self-awareness. So knowing when you try something new, if it's working or not, and if it's working, then keep going in that direction, keep refining and just do it over and over and over and over. Okay. Dreaded Farms asks, when are you shooting it? Uh, we're shooting it today. Yeah. Asking for yeah, right now. Yeah. Beef Rendang asks, when are y'all coming to Jersey? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Do you have to wear a mask there? That's a good question. Answer that Beef Rendang. Bella Nico 84 asks, I suggest a hole in a wall I just I suggest a hole in the wall taco place in Dallas, Texas. Pepe's grocery stores has some of the best fajitas ever. Now a hole in the wall could be meant for something else. 
<laughs> so everybody, please, I'll let you know what city we're going to, and you recommend the best holes and the best walls. And make sure the person behind that wall, the hole, is a female, not a male. Or a trucker. <laughs> Continuing on. But does it have a five o'clock shadow, though? I don't want to have that rough, okay, rough just keep, no, okay, just keep going. <laughs> Un Cynic asks, how regularly do you guys enjoy some balls together? We only did that episode for testicles once. Yeah, but we've eaten other, you know, ball-shaped foods, yeah. for example. You're looking down? We don't have any here. No, nothing. We no. suck. These mashed potatoes kind of look a little... But yeah, I didn't get my potatoes. Oh, okay. okay. We suck. Okay, J underscore P121 asks, questions for both of you. Okay. Was it hard to transition, was it hard transitioning from the US to Vietnam? By the way, loving, love your videos together. It's all I've been watching recently. Have you transitioned from a female to a male? <laughs> was the transition difficult? It, it was a transition between the US and Vietnam. <laughs> Maybe there's a misunderstanding. I have not transitioned. Um, Neither have I. I'm still, I'm still a male. Uh, coming to the U.S. was super easy. The hard part is leaving my shooting team behind, but we're working it out. We got a new a new crew, and uh, we're figuring it out. Oh, those are the other way around. It's for, it's when you were going from the U.S. to Vietnam. Oh, but I didn't. I went from Korea to Vietnam. So <clears throat> was it a hard transition? Um, it took a little bit of getting used to, but definitely easier than if I had moved from the U.S. Okay, Reardon Reardon underscore Explorer at asks, who can handle more spice? Now I think mm. I eat spice, but. I think you eat. I think you're pretty good. You, you don't come off like I love chili. Mm. You never do. But when you eat spice, you really can't handle like. Oh, I feel like Calvin eats more spice in his normal life. But if it was a competition, I think I could do more. I think so. Should we do a second channel sh shoot? I think yeah. we should. Spice <laughs> challenge. Yeah. Okay. Anthony Vaughn asks, "What's your message to everyone back home in Ho Chi Minh City and Vietnam in this difficult time for the Vietnamese people?" When do, you, when do you see yourselves returning home? And he says home as in Vietnam is our home. Yeah, um, so don't use these dark times to justify becoming a loser. Uh, don't gain a bunch of weight, become an alcoholic and lose all the progress you've made in your life. Hang tight, build good routines as good as you can, and at least maintain if you can't build and just do your best to hang in there. Okay, my message to people back home in Vietnam right now is... Um, just, just keep living your life. I, I mean, you, I know you gotta do it at home right now, but it, it'll. There'll be some deaths. Zeroism doesn't exist. We'll, we'll all get through this. Continue on. Uh, ACST3365 asks Do you plan on doing a mini series in the USA? And what are some foods you would like to plan around that? Before going into like what we're gonna be shooting, Keep watching the channel, keep watching uh, Best of Our Food Review Show, keep watching Epic and Deliciousness, and you'll see what we're going to be shooting because we can go on into like hours upon that. Mm. Mood Therapist, has Sunny ever put anything in your mouth that made you feel uncomfortable? I should have pre-read these questions yeah. <clears throat> prior to mm. this. Uh, uh, no. You can skip that one. No, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ari, Ari Guru. 16, two questions. When will y'all be traveling down to Texas soon? Out of the, out of all the foods you tried while traveling, which was your favorite and least favorite? Uh, let's go with the least favorite was the, was the uh, stingray liver. Yeah. I haven't eaten anything bad on the show yet. Mm, yeah, so um, recently in Minnesota, I tried a bunch of Somali food and I tried a whole like uh, roasted goat and I like that a lot. The roasted goat, the whole fish was really good. Mm -hmm. The rice was really, really good. Mm. Okay. Erica Lynn 626, when is Calvin's birthday? July 6th. July 6th. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, uh, sweet, sweetie Jada, y'all should, there's a lot of y'alls here. Y'all should look into Apple Scrapple Festival in Delaware. Tons of potential content. Apple Scrapple. Scrapple. I think that is uh, an Amish thing. Mm. Yeah, I think it comes. I think scrapple comes from Amish folks. Huh. 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 What are the neighboring states of Delaware? Do you know? I don't know where Delaware is. I, <laughs> I neither do I. I think it's like the northeast, dude. I don't think so. <laughs> Jessica Rose four eight one six asked, "Are you going to do breast restaurants in the metro area? Just moved up to the area, and there's a ton of new ones. Foodie." Do you think she means best restaurant? Oh, no. So listen, this my show, is she talking about my show or your show? Uh, your, sh your show. 
Well, I, we can answer for ourselves. My show is not a travel guide. The last thing I want to do is just be like, best hotspots in Minneapolis. I could not give an F less. We're trying to find interesting stories. What about you, Calvin? Uh, I don't know what a breast restaurant is, and I don't think my wife's going to enjoy that. <laughs> X Lam Lay, when are you both coming to Fresno? Uh, probably never. Yeah, is it not? <laughs> no. The, the deer asks, which one of you, oh, this is a good one, which one of you is more likely to get canceled? We've discussed this. You oh. are too much like me, so my money is on you, Cal. Sonny seems like he can be. Ca Sonny seems like he can be cancelable too. Which one of us got cancelled? Mm. Well, I'm, you're a minority. So <laughs> that's in your favor. This mustache really helps out a lot. But um, I'm just a, I'm the worst thing you can be. I'm, a, I'm just a white guy. <laughs> so uh, I have I have no idea. I think um, but I I think we have. Our, our actual beliefs, yeah, like mostly what we talk about on camera, and it's pretty normal stuff. I don't think we're crazy extreme people. Not at all. Uh, Airy Nye says, "What's the most disgusting food you've both eaten?" And again, for you, it's going to be the stingray liver. Yeah, I still like it. Lost out there, lost out here every day. Did you and Sunny both leave it not at the same time with the intention of being on each other's show? And do you guys have any idea of? when you'll return to beloved Vietnam. We were on the same flight. Mm. That was that, that that was something that kind of fell into place. Uh, I came out here to get my vaccine. You did the same. We happened to go beyond each other's show. And when we went to Vietnam, we'll go back to Vietnam when the borders open up freely without having a quarantine. Mm. That's how yeah. I feel about it. Yeah, whatever they let me come back, I'll come back. Yeah. And you know, Bong asked, have, do you fully consume alone every meal or present you present your videos, or do you share it with the crew? Why is everybody always worried about what a, what a crew eats? I have no idea. Like, do people watch a, a movie by Tarantino and, and be like, now, can you talk about the craft services? <laughs> like, I don't... We eat all the food that we, that, 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 we, that we have on camera, and our crew gets to bite if there's anything left. Yeah, but they also, so for my team, they get a, a lunch time, mm -hmm. and we usually have a pre-made lunch for them. Um, so that they can just enjoy that and they can eat something more healthy because what we're shooting is so different day to day. Um, I want them to have some regular like healthy food. Yeah, we, and, we, and we shoot three to four locations per episode. Right. And that's an all day, that's a 7 a.m. till maybe 6 p.m. at night. Like mm. they want something that's a little more uh, not heavy. We eat some heavy stuff. Mm. Happy mums, happy sweetie. I love your show. I've been watching reruns every single day. Oh, thank you. Subu52, hey Sunny. There was one episode where a woman chopped lamb or sheep covered in salt and preserved it. It was with some tribe. Can you please tell me which episode or tribe it is? <laughs> How know. many episodes do you have in your in your library right now? A tribe with a lamb? We have like 400 episodes, but we don't have that many with a lamb and a tribe, but I don't no one's preserved a, a head. Um maybe she's thinking the Oh, a, a tribe in Namibia? I don't know. Look up best ever food review show in Namibia. I'm slurring my words because of this. Because of this. Hold on. Calvin, let's quick time, <laughs> quick time There we go. I brought my breathalyzer here. <laughs> let's see if I... How long I need to wait before I start driving. Okay. It's going to start working in four seconds. The countdown's here. I'm going to give it a nice blow. Here T we go. Take a little before you drink it. <laughs> Remember, 0 0.08 is of legal drinking limit. Anything below that, or anything above that, is considered a DUI. Okay, so it's it's calculating, it's calculating. In a few seconds, we're going to know, can I drive or do I have to sleep at Red Lobster for a couple hours? The results are oh, in. A 0 0.02 only. That's I can get two more of these and drive around. I don't know if this thing works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does. Old Man Geek asks, love to have both of you come down under and do some indigenous bush tucker. Don't worry about the our prime minister. He'll let any celeb in. You two be fine. <laughs> Australia. Have you been? Uh, no. Do you want to go? I would like to, but they have insane laws right now. Oh, okay. Bang Paul Sue, why are both of you so effing awesome? Uh, uh, okay. Devs Jazzy underscore baby. Is there a possibility of doing a series with you two together in NYC? Family and I were just in Manhattan, and there are so many out of the ordinary food options out there we can eat so much you have new, new, new york 
on your map? Yeah, I would go to New York eventually. Again, um, I have the vaccine, but I'm not going to go anywhere. Are you where... lactating? Yeah, sorry, I'm leaking. I don't want to go anywhere where they say you need to have a, a, a special <laughs> card to, to enter a cafe. So I'm going to wait until they're done with all that. And then I'll come when uh, it's a little bit more open and free. Okay. Uh, BZ Ipper says, do you actually do stuff off camera too? We actually hang out. Yeah. I mean, we, we're, we're the same city. We hang out. We're besties. We're actually friends. Yeah. Jason Song Food, do you guys hang out off camera? Oh, okay. Yes, we do. Hang out off camera. What foods have you eaten tasted that you guys were polar opposites in? The stingray liver. The stingray liver. I'm not a I'm not the hugest fan of stingray liver myself, but I was okay with eating it. Mm. But your the, look on your face. If, if you could see the raw footage of it, you looked at me and you're like, Are you joking right now? Yeah, he kept saying he liked it. And I was like, What is he doing a bit? Yeah. Like, is he just trying to be the opposite of me? But uh yeah. I hated it. And you had it again in Full Walk, and you still hated it in Full Walk. Still, still hated it. Ian B Budry asks, how is the USA going? Great. What's your thoughts on the foods you want to try? Great. How far off the beaten track are you willing to go speak, seek out exotic? <laughs> your um, thoughts are great. <laughs> My thoughts? What are your thoughts? Great. great. <laughs> how far are you willing to go off the beaten track to seek out exotic? I don't really want to push the levels too much. Because what is exotic to them? Because compared to what here, what's it, yeah, in America, yeah, um, rattlesnake. Yeah, it's not exotic. Yeah, basically rattlesnake. Uh, Tony Caldro, I still have those one chip challenges. Want me to send them? Oh, that's interesting. Yes, yes, he'll send them to Vietnam. Actually, he has, he's, he has them in uh, in in the Midwest right now. Mm. What's the worst thing you guys ever eaten? Yeah, Cock. just you can start skipping. Okay, us. yeah. I don't like, like listen. It's uh Oh, we're almost done. It, well, really? Oh, yeah. Mary uh Mary O Sefna, not a question, just a big fans of Sunny and you. Please send him warmest regards from Bali. Hope someday I can meet him personally. Oh, Mary. Mm. Mary. Very cool. Last two. Wow, we got through them. We got them quickly. Yeah, that was, 83. That was really quick. Timmy Tenshot asked, the two of you touring the states and introducing us to Epicurean Delights would be literally food porn. Epicurean Delights, what does that mean? Is Red Lobster Epi considered Epicurean? Yeah, I think uh, Epicurean is like a horse horse racing. Like when the horse is jumping over stuff. <laughs> that? That's is equestrian, it, fool. Oh, that's equestrian. <laughs> oh, that, I don't know. I should... Google what Epicurean. Right. Um, that, that that sounds. Oh, so what you guys don't know is that fine dining doesn't really look great on camera. Well, it's a, it can be a little bit boring. It, yeah, or too abstract, and then it, you don't get that visceral kind of reaction. I mean, we've done some videos, and I'll do some more videos like that. But you just don't get that visceral reaction of seeing just a bunch of food or street food or big pieces of barbecue. It's not the same. Okay. Last question: How did you? How did you? No. How wow, this, this, this is How did this beautiful friendship start? Sancho's. Yeah, so um I went to a bar nearby my house <laughs> to drink and listen to a podcast. That's why you had your podcast in. Calvin interrupted me and <laughs> offered me a free tequila because he, he owned the place and he was bartending that day. And then it just started from there. Yeah. Fr friendship started and uh yeah, that's eighty three questions. That's re we did really good. Um we have 17 minutes left. Wow, what do we talk about for 17 minutes? So how many minutes have we done? Well, 42 div mi minus 17 is what? I don't 42 know. 42 minus 17. All right, well, 25 just, minutes. We just had a lot of people drop off. I think 25 minutes is good. Do you want to do more? Uh, do you want to say anything? Uh, I, I'm super happy that Calvin came to <sighs> Minnesota to work and hang out with uh, the crew here. And we hope he joins us for some more episodes in the future. Comment and like and share below and all that yeah. other good stuff. If this video gets one hundred thousand likes, I will invite Kelvin on the show again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk. Let's talk about like us shooting and some of the funny the funny moments we've had thus far. Um, was that guy really watching porn at the hot? Pot? Was that, was that really Christ. watching uh, adult videos at the oh, hot at pot? the hot pot? Yeah, was he really watching it? I don't remember. I don't know if my camera guy put that on his phone, yeah. but I think it was real. I'm pretty sure it was real. Okay, I don't think. So we did a hot pot video, and it looked like in the background somebody was on an adult website, and I think it was real. My camera guy zoomed in on it. I yeah. think that was a real thing. Okay. Um, what was the favorite episode thus far that we've done? There's a there's a stop at the guy just ran. What's the favorite episode we've done thus far together? 
or even top, even top two, if you have top two. Um, I almost every time we wrap shooting, I almost forget what we've done immediately. <laughs> I try to be in the moment, so I, I don't know. How about this week? I really, really enjoyed. We shot something about like Minnesota food that will kill you. Very unhealthy, um, crazy next level junk food, and that was a lot of fun. And Calvin brought a lot of energy, and we met some very interesting foodie entrepreneurs. So I like that one. Are you really just dipping your fries into tartar sauce? Yeah, absolutely. I love this tartar sauce. <laughs> it's going. Um, what else? This is how I like my coleslaw. This is basically like a soupy coleslaw. We have coleslaw. Mm, yeah. I prefer this coleslaw. Mm. Um, what else? I'm pretty full. You still have the, the shrimp you haven't eaten yet. I know. I'm going to do it off camera. You feel, loaded? You, you feel the sodium coming onto you right now? Um, no, I just keep having to eat with my left hand and it feels weird. Because <laughs> I'm on this side. Um, you want to share something with the audience that, um, <clears throat> I don't know, got, got, got you to the next level? Like, you got you went through something that got you to the next level? Um, I, I think YouTube's a great thing. I think more people should try to, uh, uh, there's so many people out there with aspirations to do something on YouTube that don't. And they always just be aware of whether or not you're really making an excuse because almost everybody is they're like when i get a new camera yep. when i do this when i do this it's you can just get started and the worst scenario is that you just kind of learn something and get some practice and try something new and it doesn't work out and uh i never expected it would get this far for me and it did I'm, and i'm grateful and happy it did but i didn't start out with this in mind <clears throat> in fact a lot of people really focus a lot on money I had, I didn't try to even monetize till I had over 35,000 subscribers. There's people with like a, a thousand subscribers who are like, oh, I, I wish I could monetize. And what, make a nickel every month? Like focus on making frequent content, good content, and just always, and just be obsessed with how to improve and how to be better at what you're doing. Um, that's what I did. And I think that's what can help a lot of people. Get started, start small, make one to two minute videos or, or make a, a 42 minute video, no editing, one yeah. take video, yeah. one take shot. One, one take, no editing. That's, just do that's it. another way to do it. No. I remember you kept telling, I kept telling you, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And you're like, okay. For like over a year. Yeah, for over a year. Like, I, like okay, I'm, I'm waiting. And then I I bought the camera and I, and I still didn't even turn it on. I was so scared to turn it on. Mm. And the, my, my, my first four or five or 52 episodes suck. And now that we're at episode 53 or 56, whatever, now, they suck a little less, and I'm much more comfortable on camera now, because I figured out what my formula is. My mm. formula is the intro, it's the food, and it's the message behind it. Mm. And there'll be an episode that's coming up pretty soon that I was so ready to film, and when the food came out, nothing came out of my mouth. Mm. And I, I, I explained the food, thinking that it's gonna jog a memory, nothing. 18 minutes, and I, I said sorry to the camera, said, I'm sorry. I have nothing to say. Were so, you, were you hungover? No, I wasn't. I was so like, I had nothing to say about the food. Mm. And it wasn't, it wasn't like the food was bad. I just couldn't find that angle. And right. usually, as, as I talk more and more, the angle comes around. Like, right. like what you do, right? You, you interview, you start picking at some things, and then you'll you'll find your angle. Mm. Nothing came out. And this that episode will air before this one will. And you know, some days you just have brain farts, but it's that reality. <laughs> of what life looks like mm. you know like what people imagine you and i to be in real life and they meet us we're just two regular guys who kind of talk a lot of s <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you know we're, we're not always high strung we're not always like the the dj voice is that radio dj voice isn't out there no but we really care about the fans we really care about meeting people and if we can say one or two good things to inspire them then damn it we do our job. I met I met my friend's kid when I came back to Minnesota, and his kid goes, "How come you're not like you are in the videos?" Because <laughs> like, uh, I'm resting. <laughs> because that would be obnoxious if I was that intense and pumped about everything around me all the time. Oh, so how, okay. Here's the last one. How do you get in the mood? <laughs> mm. You don't go this right. How do you get into the mood before the shooting day? Mm, okay, so I used to have a lot more trouble like getting finding my voice or kind of getting into it and I would like run around like jump around and um, 
like physically try to do something to get into the right mood. But I think one big thing is before the shooting day even, like not drinking the day before, exercising, making sure physically I feel good, getting a lot of sleep. Like that's the base foundational thing, which treat is nothing really surprising. You, you always tell us in the, in the crew, treat your body well. Yeah. You're not gonna tell anybody, you can't, they can't, they cannot drink. But when call time is there, you have a job to do. Mm. And if you're not on 100%, if you're at that 98%, that 2% is the make or break. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Yeah, and then just, you know, I still get butterflies sometimes if I haven't shot for a while, <clears throat> and especially in beginning scenes. So sometimes a cheat would be finding a scene that I know will be easy. Maybe instead of starting with an intro, I'll start with an interview or something that's more interactive. But um, And then we and then we what we do is we, we get that... What's that? What's that? I'm trying to say? We get that momentum. momentum. Mm. Thanks. Yeah, and also I think just letting the people you're working with I mean, I think that's why our interviews work out because they can see I look ridiculous. I have a bandana on. <laughs> like, you should see before we do the interview, we're standing there and the camera guys are checking stuff, and I'm like taking deep breaths and I'm like, <sighs> like a swan. Like, but I'm doing it to be silly. So they're like, oh, okay, this guy's ridiculous. And um, it calm, it kind of calms me down by showing how not serious it is. Yeah. And it calms them down too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all that stuff. And what, when I am the co-host, I always tell the, the interviewee, just relax. Yeah. Like, you know, this is all going to be edited out. It's all going to be a good It's time. all going to be edited. <laughs> we, we're not going to use any of this. No. <laughs> How did you feel about when I had the octopus on my face at that at that octopus at the Vietnamese place? Yeah, I loved it. Did you? Really? Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> we had some good moments here. We had a lot of, lot of fun moments. And, and honest, I, I will say this on air. Thank you for giving me this gift that... I can do something that isn't in my realm. Mm. You know, like media and, and, and filming is never been something that I've ever uh, aspired or even attained to learn or to do. Yeah. You gave me this, you give it, you've given me this, oh, you've given me this gift where I can tell the story of others. Yeah, so listen, here's the thing. I didn't give Calvin anything. Calvin showed up every day. He was focused. He put in 100% effort. He, he talked to me about how to get better, how to improve, and, and he was super dedicated. And that's just anybody in any career should do the same because I wasn't like, oh, I'm going to give Calvin a break. No, Calvin brought it. He brought energy. He made it more fun. It was fun to work, hang out with him and to work with him. And so I just had him back on the show as much as I could. <laughs> that's it. So, like, that's you. Yeah. yeah th well, thank you for that. And uh, you know what? We're going to do more episodes every three days. A new episode launches. Is that what you do every three days? Every three days. So sometimes it's on a Wednesday, or sometimes it's on a Thursday. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hey. It works. Cool. It works. It works. And so thank you to all this, the, the uh, what, we're not, we're not done yet. Oh. Another piece yet. <clears throat> thank you to everybody who has been there thus far. The, not, not there yet. It hurts. It not even hurts. Not, not, not yet. Okay, okay. Keep going. Thank you for everybody who has been there thus far, who has, who, who, who has been part of the journey, who has been part of seeing the channel grow and as we continue to grow and we continue to do uh, wacky and crazy things which we don't really do but it's always me and it's always him and that's mm. what life's all about mm -hmm. like the video subscribe to the channel uh, leave a comment down below and Sonny will personally write to you in okay he, he won't no I won't he won't no, he won't he won't he won't but share the video mm. this is the first time that we've we've together as a as, as, a, as a duo we're together on this channel. Mm -hmm. uh, share the video with all your friends and family and even the, the next door neighbor and their mailman. Calvin, over 50 plus videos on his channel. Nice work, man. Thanks, You're man. catching up to me quick. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I, 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 and, I, and, I, and I and I and I will get there one day. Mm. I will get there one day. Uh, but it's, it's, been, it's been fun to do it. We're going to drink some more alcohol because I think you're still blowing a point oh two. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold yeah. on. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, there's a Venmo and a PayPal in the link in the link description below or the description below if you want to support the channel consider uh pledging or donating uh, one dollar two dollars five dollars ten dollars or even twenty dollars we really appreciate that what did you blow it said drink water <laughs> yeah. uh our friendship for the last four and a half years have been has been actually absolutely amazing to see what we've kind of gone through you know we had we had a life that was was regular at one time, mm. and now we're. It is what it is, right? Ir irregular, like my bowel mm. syndrome, and we cannot go on from there or do better. We must leave. 
<laughs> my name is Calvin Bowie, aka Captain Charisma. My boy, Sunny Side, is going to see you guys next time. This is where we say a peace. Mm. A piece. Is that your usual ending? No, it's the first time I've ever done it. Oh, okay, thank thing. God. I thought you were doing that. That's I know, kind of like mine. I stole that from Logan Paul. You know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, he used to do that at the end. And they're like, how'd you get that? I was like, I just did what he did. Oh, well, shit. Yeah, and we're done. Okay. All right, let's keep eating. Okay. Should we turn the camera off? Yeah, let's turn